What do you think of it? Well, it doesn't matter what I think. I'm not the one who has to wear it. Yeah, you're right. It doesn't matter what you think. I like it. And the guy in the shop, Jeff, he said it could have been made for me. Oh, did he indeed? I still don't believe it. Fiona is taking big risk. No, she isn't. You're going to be great. You're just saying that shut me up, aren't you? No. Well, partly. But don't get yourself so wound up about it, pal. Fiona thinks you're up for it, doesn't she? Yes. Apparently, I'm a person's person. <laughs> you're a people person. <laughs> Have you seen my wallet anywhere? Mm. What if I mess it up? <sighs> you won't, Pavel. Now, I'll see you later, okay? Have a good day. Good afternoon, Raw. It is pay what it's worth night, yes? What time? Okay, what was the name? Okay, we'll see you then. Thank you very much. Look at this. Mm. We're almost full. I told you this was a good idea. What did I tell you? What did I say? Everyone likes a free meal, Fiona. Relax, Jeff. Calm down. Don't get too excited. We don't want to jinx ourselves. Well, it's hard to get excited about a gimmick. You've got a visitor. Why don't you tell me, Fiona? What? Shane, sitting in your office. Oh. <laughs> I mean, you're not seriously considering taking him back, are you? Not after the showdown with the cops. Jeff. You're making a big mistake. Hello? Fiona Kelly? Yes, that's me. Come in. This is came for you. It's not your birthday or anything, is it? It's not my birthday. Secret admirer, perhaps. I don't have an admirer, secret or otherwise. What I do have is a lot to be getting on with, and I'm sure you do too. Sure. Because of the offer, we're practically booked out tonight, which is great, but it's going to be insane, particularly for front of house. The bills could be tricky. We'll get you all calculators. It'll be like the olden days. What does that mean, though, pay what it's worth? It means the customer pays what they think the dish is worth. It is a difficult notion to grasp, though, Dickie, so just give it a minute. But what if they think their whole meal's worth, like, a euro? Then they pay a euro. Fiona, we're going to get robbed. Oh, that's the spirit, Richard. <coughs> There he is, ladies and gentlemen, our new front of house manager. Oh, yes. Get you, Papa. Looking good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good nice, Papa. Nice. All right, everybody, let's get back to work. A little place for the diamond Yes, Jeff. Yes. 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 Is table three away? Okay, I think the two, straight away. Oh, it's mental out there. Yeah, well, that suits me. And I need to keep my mind of the fact that I have my mother staying with me for seven, count them, seven whole days. That's not good. Well, you know, parents aren't for life, they're just for Christmas. Mm, if only. <laughs> my dad uh, stayed with me for a month last year. You know, it's a, it's a funny story, actually. He and a few of his... Yeah, I've got a funny story, ahead. actually. It's about a waiter who keeps distracting the kitchen staff during a service. And what happens? He gets fired. Sorry. Work, not flirt. Table six away. So you booked at eight? Yes. And you are at eight thirty. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Just, just do it. Yeah. Yeah. We are a little bit overbooked, so could you please? Uh, when a table is vacant, could you please clear it as soon as possible so we can get some of the people at the door seated? Nobody seems to want to move. Ah, this is a disaster. Ladies and gentlemen, would you like to follow me to the bar for a complimentary glass of wine while you're waiting? We won't keep you much longer. Wait. 
Are you ready to order? Um, I don't know. Would you like a few more minutes? Will I just order for you? I'll just order for you. I'll end up doing it anyway. Is everything all right? Everything's fine, thank you. Well, go easy on him. First day? <laughs> It's front of house manager. Yes. Manager, really? So, Mrs. Hart, Shane, Paul, are you ready to order? Um, are there onions in this? Um, yes, they are. Oh, can't be done with onions. Just give us another minute or two, Paul. Yeah. Sure. Cheers. How's it going? So far, so good. The monkfish is going down well. Oh, and the stew, actually. I wasn't even sure about that. Yeah. That's mine. What? Yes, the stew is Jojo's recipe. Oh, you're giving him a run for his money. Good work. Hey, did you hear that, Jeff? I bet we shift more stew than monkfish. Well, it's not about shifting, Jojo. It's about making profit. And people will pay more for monkfish. I bet my dish makes more than yours. No, I couldn't take your money. Not a bet, then. A competition. With a prize? With a prize. Come on, Jeff, it'll be a laugh. It's quite cruel, actually. It's like making a kitten fight a panther. <laughs> But if you insist. Bring it on. <laughs> I think we'd like to move. Can you find a corner table? We have no free tables, I'm afraid. It's okay, Marcus. Madam, are you ready to order? I think I might try this stew. We'll both have the monkfish. Was something lost in translation? No, sir. Then that'll be all for now, Mr. Manager. What are you doing in here? I can't do it, Jeff. I'm not like Fiona or, or like you. Well, has something happened? Not really. I, I got this all the time as a waiter. I don't know why I thought it would change. Sorry, hang on. You got what all the time? Customers are speaking to me like I was dirt. Well, you can't let them, Paul. Not anymore. I can't stop them. Well, you have to. You can't lead a team if nobody respects you. Exactly. Look, everybody responds to strength. Now, you're a strong person. I know that, but you just need to show everybody else. You need to show them that you're in control. I don't think I am, though. Yeah, but nobody needs to find that out, do they? You just, you front it up, you front it out. Front what? Act, pretend. I mean, I do it all the time. 